right, I'm going to show you some of these documents really, really quickly. Okay. Actually, let me start with, let me see where it is. Is this the opening? Okay. So here's a sample opening script. And I want you to look very carefully at this, at how it's worded, because it's really important. Can you guys see that? Should, do I need to make it bigger? A little bit bigger? How's that? Bigger or that's okay? All right, so here's our opening script. Hi, my name is Irana. By the way, I expect you to change the name. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I actually have seen videotape. I've had, I have had more than one videotape of my students who read it. You know, they, they went and they read through it and they're like, keep going. So make sure you change the name. And thank you for participating in the user test for the portable doctor advisor prototype. By the way, you have to change that part too. Don't tell them that you are analyzing, you know, ABC cars and then don't change it. First, I would like to inform you that we are testing the device, not the participants. Also, you have the choice of stopping the test at any time you wish. That, by the way, is really important that I will emphasize a couple of times. If your participant needs to stop, do you think they have a choice? No? You're going to lock the door, chain them to the chair until they're done? Yeah, that'll work. Get done real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not allowed to do that. It would be nice. So if your participant doesn't happen very often, decides in the middle of running your participant that, oh, I'm tired, got to go, see you later, right? Or they have an emergency, they have to leave. What do you have to do? You let them go. What are you supposed to do when you let them go? You thank them, right? You're going to say, oh, you are so rotten. You have to find someone else. Can't you just stay? Yeah, don't do that. You want to be polite. You want to thank them, tell them how much you appreciate their time, and then off they go. Now, what happens to that data? Can you use it? No. You can't. But you have to let them go. So keep that in mind. By the way, that makes an awesome exam question. I know, it sounds like common sense. You'll be surprised how many people get it wrong or have gotten it wrong in the past. All right, please feel free to talk about your thought processes as you perform the tasks. We're going to talk about something called the Think Aloud protocol that you're going to engage in. Don't worry about the errors or how long it takes. We are not testing you. We are testing our interface. If you have difficulties, that means there's a problem with our interface, and that's what we're looking for. So notice how many times you are emphasizing to your participant that you are not testing them, it is the product that is being tested. You're saying it several times in different ways. We cannot help you during the task, so if you get stuck, just play around with the available buttons. We can answer any of your questions after the tasks are completed. Now here's the first task. Now you can expand upon this because you're probably going to have an entrance questionnaire. But notice that this is first person. You have to read it word for word. You need to keep all of the circumstances, the environment, what's called the methodology, as similar between your participants as possible. If you can get it exact, even better. So don't ad lib. Don't say, hey, I'm Irana. Does it say that there? No. Now. Don't memorize. I'm going to look good. I will memorize the whole thing because I am brilliant. Yeah, don't do that either. One, it's more work. And two, chances are you're not going to have it memorized perfectly. So make sure you read. Clear? Now let's look at the sample entrance questionnaire. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot the consent form. Before they do anything, you have to give them a consent form. 
A consent form is very simple. It's basically where they are signing their John Hancock, letting you know that they are willing to participate and that they understand that their information for this class at least will not be used for commercial purposes, that when we are looking at this data, we're looking at it in aggregate, all that fun and exciting stuff. For this class, it's very simple. Here's a nice, simple consent form. There is one thing you have to add to this, a checkbox for video taping, excuse me, video recording. They need to consent to that also. And it needs to be explicit and clear. But very, very simple. 